Thank you for calling Starbucks. This is Tashima speaking. How can I help you? Hey, Tashima. This is John from the corporate office with Starbucks. Hi. Hi. Um, I, I just need to find out um, if you'd be available to shovel the my sidewalks tonight at my house. I live here in Marblehead also. It's my, uh, you know, my, my winter home. And, uh, you know, I just, uh, you know, it's, it's a mess out there. All, all the snow and stuff. I haven't had time to shovel. Okay. And um, how late are you working tonight? Yeah, we we can't come shovel your home, no. No, just just the driveway. No. I, you don't even have to do the sidewalk or the porch. I never use it. I just use the garage. So just the driveway is fine. Uh, no. What do you mean, no? I'm I'm not asking. I'm saying I need I need one of you to come over and do this. Okay. No, that's is, not going to happen. Is there another employee there? Nope. I mean, someone has to do it. We do this every year. Okay. I didn't have time to shovel, so someone needs to come over here and, and get this shit done. <laughs> Let's see. Did you drive a car today to work? Do you drive a car? What time are you off work today? Nancy? This is uh, John from the corporate office with 7-Eleven. And I need a ride. And I need a ride. No, I am. I'm from the corporate office with 7-Eleven, and I need to borrow your car. Did you drive a car today? Do you have a car there? And I need to borrow your car. I want you to have the keys out and ready when I get there, because I don't have all day. I'm not going to just sit around and talk to you about it. I'm from the 7-Eleven corporate office, and I need to borrow your car. Nancy? I'm your boss. Just a minute, and I'm going to get the keys from you. You don't have a choice. Nancy? You need to stop lying to the corporate office. I'm your boss. I just need to go over to the bowling alley. Nancy? It's only gonna be for like 20 minutes. I'm, I'm not taking your car, I'm just gonna borrow it. I'm just borrowing it. No, I am. I'm from the corporate office with 7-Eleven and I need to borrow your car. Did you drive a car today? Do you have a car there? And I need to borrow your car. I want you to have the keys out and ready when I get there, because I don't have all day. I'm not going to just sit around and talk to you about it. I'm from the 7-Eleven corporate office, and I need to borrow your car. Hey, everybody. You're listening to the Snowplow Show for Friday the 13th, 2018. Let's call up one of my interns and find out who the sponsors are for today. Circle K, 14. This is Brittany. Hello, it's Brad. Can you tell me who the sponsors are today for the Snowplow Show? Yeah, just one second. Have a great day. I have customer time. Um, the sponsors of the Snowplow Show, Jamie F., Brandon R., Chrissy T., um, <clears throat> Matt Z., Dustin W. Oh, but is, isn't it Kirsty not, instead of Christy? Yes, sir, it is. Sure is. Oh, uh-huh. okay. All right. You didn't say that. But, uh, all right. Is that it for me today? Yep. That's all. Thank you so much. Have a great one. You too. Take it easy. No, you take it easy. Okay, Jamie F., Brandon R., Kirsty T. I think she said Christy T. What a noob. I know the paper said Kirsty T. Lady doesn't know how to read. Uh, Matt Z. and Dustin W. Thank you, all five of you, for being supporters on the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. Your support keeps the shows happening, and you get secret shows and everything if you're a supporter. Everyone should be a supporter if you like this show. And thank you, new people who have signed up recently to be supporters, like Story R and Nathan S., Daniel B., Kin Cow or Kin Koo, Great Big Pete, Jagger Mitchell, and T.Y. or Ty or whatever. Whatever. Thanks for signing up for the Snowplow Show and supporting all the stuff we do around here. Yesterday was an insane day of shows, just as I promised it would be on Wednesday. I did the PLA call-in show with Asterios Kokonos. That was great fun. He got naked on camera and danced to the theme song and everything. That was the highlight of it all. That is up on the feeds if you want to listen to it. There was a bunch of good call-ins on that show. And the video version is up on the PLA YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Phone Losers of America. And speaking of Asterios, he did an interview with me, um, I don't know, like three or four months ago, I think. And he finally just put that up. It's on his Patreon only right now. That's at patreon.com slash Asterios. I highly suggest supporting his Patreon because he needs it with all the legal debt that Maddox has caused him. But I'm sure if you wait long enough, he'll put it up on a normal feed eventually. It was a pretty fun interview. He had some really good ideas for PLA. 
Anyway, the live show with Asterios, it lasted, um, I don't know, maybe 90 minutes, maybe a little bit more than that. And then 30 minutes later, the new Madhouse show started up. Carlito and Milkman, they're back on Thursdays, just like the good old days. Their show is now at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, and I guess they're going to do every single Thursday from now on. And that was a lot of fun. I only got to listen to maybe 90 minutes of that. I, I don't know how long he went on. I need to catch the rest of it on the podcast feed because I had to leave and be on the Cave Crew radio show, which started two hours into Carlito's show. Sorry about that, Carlito. I blame Cave Crew Radio. And I don't know if the Cave Crew Radio is up yet. If it is, I will put a link from the show notes to go listen to that. All of this stuff happened, you know, like I'm up here in the attic in the Situation Room. And yesterday, I'm pretty sure was the hottest day of the year so far. It was 97 degrees out, maybe 98. I can't remember. All I know is that my air conditioner was not keeping up. It was insanely hot up here. And I had to be on camera for both of the shows I did. I was looking pretty sweaty on those shows. Today, I think it's supposed to be 92 or 93 maybe. So I need to hurry up and do this show and get out of here. I can't do that two days in a row. Be sure to look in the show notes though if you want links to all this stuff. If you were AT&T, the old American telephone and telegraph, the biggest, most powerful company in the universe, what would you be scared of? If you were AT&T, you'd be scared of only one thing. Me, from MCI. You'd be scared I'd call your customers and show them the savings with MCI. And you'd worry that they'd really like the idea and switch to MCI. Lighten up, AT&T. Don't be so scared of me and MCI. You have millions of customers, and it's going to be years before I can get through to all of them. I've got a list here from Reggie of Kangaroo Gas Stations. And have I called these before? I don't know, because I think someone else has sent me Kangaroo Gas Stations, or maybe it was Reggie. And he mentions in here that Kangaroo gas stations are owned by Circle K. So maybe they've all been converted at this point, which is too bad because what an awesome name, Kangaroo Express. Anyway, let's call a few of these. I've got an important corporate meeting to get to. Circle K, can I help you? Hello, who's this? This is Kevin. Oh, hey, Kevin. It's Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Uh Uh-huh. Um, I needed to find out, do you have one of those, uh, hose hookups on the outside of your building? No, we don't. Are you sure? Have you ever looked? Yeah, we've got one of the hose we got is in our, uh, side shed. Oh, okay. So, so you, you have a hose then? No, we've, we've never hooked it up out there, but we have a hose when we do our park a lot. But it's in our side wired shed that locks up. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'm going to be stopping by there in a little bit. I'm, I'm here in town. From, okay. from the corporate office. I just need you to wash my car. So, um, like, I guess you're going to have to get, you know, maybe just fill up the mop bucket and get some No, we scrub. don't wash nobody's car here. Oh, no. You got a car wash. No, I'm from the corporate office. I need you to wash my car. Like, you... No. Put. We don't wash cars. We got a car wash. Yeah, but I, I my car, it's, it's uh, you know, it's very uh, delicate, and I don't want to go in through a car wash. I'm um, sorry, but we don't do that. No, I'm from the corporate office with Circle K. You it have. doesn't matter. We don't, we don't wash the bike's car. The, I'm your, I sign your paychecks. I, I'm the one that signs your paychecks, so you have we to. Do, no, I don't. Yes, you do. I, I order you to. You're going to wash my uh, car. I'm going to be there in about 20 what minutes. Is your name? Uh, this is Roy from the corporate office. Okay, I'm going to call my DM right now. What for? Uh, Damn it. I will get my car washed. You just wait. Circle K, this is Jackie. Hey, Jackie. It's Roy from the corporate office. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to be stopping in there in about 20 minutes. And, uh, okay. And I'm just going to need you to, you to wash my car. Like, can, All right. Can you get a mop bucket and sponge or whatever and, you know, maybe some cleaning solution and just wash my car? What? I, I'm going to just stop in there. I'm going to pull up to the front parking space, like the handicap spot. And I'm going to need you to Why, just... What's wrong with the... I mean... <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude. Is, is this a joke? Because oh. we're, we're really busy. I mean, we have a car wash. No, I don't want to... I don't want to take it through there. You want there. me to, to uh, wa- actually wash your car? Yeah, I want you to, like... I, I like them to get hand-washed and then, you know, dry it off with a with we're the towel. Too I'm, I'm, we're too busy for that. Like, I'm doing side work and all that. I don't... No, it's okay. I, I give you permission. I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna need it washed and waxed, and then dried off. What's your, what is your name? Uh, Roy Gerbel from the corporate office. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just. I'm... 
Are you the only one there? No, of course not. Uh, there's um, two other people here. It's just we're we're the busiest store in the region, and I. Ah, uh, see. It just doesn't uh, you, sound. You'll be fine. It doesn't sound right to me. Like I have to. It well, doesn't it's just, sound. It's just that I have I've got an important meeting to go to, and I just need someone to wash my car. That's all. Because I, I am from the corporate office, you know. Okay. Um, I'm going to call my assistant manager just to make sure, because this doesn't sound right to me. This is, it sounds r- kind of ridiculous. No, and and if it ends up being legit, I'm totally sorry. I apologize, but I'm just going to make sure, because this is, it just doesn't sound right. Okay. Well, I'll tell you. I'm in town. Uh, i got an important okay, meeting I'm here so in town. Okay. I'm so sorry. Yeah, like I said, if if I if everything turns out to be okay, then I apologize. But I'm gonna call and double check and make sure that. Yeah, sure, that's fine. I Just you know, okay. I, I hope it's all done within 20 minutes because I'm gonna be there in 20 minutes. Okay. Uh, do you know how to do, do you know how to do haircuts? No, this no. Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Hello. Hello. She didn't hang up properly. Ma'am. How do people not know how to hang up the phone? Why isn't she talking about me? This is bullshit. You don't just improperly hang up the phone and then not talk about me. All right, I'm hanging up. She's not saying anything. It's okay, Preston. Hey, Preston, it's Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. And um, we're going to be uh, showing up there in about 20 minutes, me and three other guys from the corporate office. Yeah. And we'll be in, a, in, in the black Audi. Okay. Uh, and we're going to need you to give us a haircut. Like, just to, we're going to sit down in the back room and we just need haircuts. Uh, yeah, you can go do that yourself. Uh, no, no, we definitely need you to do it. It's for, we're going to a meeting tonight. And we need yeah, to, I don't care. Have a good day. Hey, Bye. Don't, don't, hey, don't, don't get mouthy with me. Wow, there's somebody that doesn't like his job, I guess. This is Circle K. How can I help you? This is Kathy. Hey, Kathy. It's Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Hey, how are you doing today, Roy? Pretty good. How are you? I'm good. What can I get for you? Um, well, I'm going to be, uh, me and three other men from the corporate office, we're going to be stopping by here in a little bit. Okay. Um, we're going to be coming in, and we just need you to, uh, is it just you there? No, it's uh, actually I'm from Subway, but it's going to be Jody and it's going to be Ariel. Oh, okay. Well, I I need one of you three to uh, give us haircuts. We're just going to do it in the back room. Give you haircut? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, if you don't, I mean, mind some jagged edges every now and then. I mean, I could do that. No, we want. I'm serious, man. We need good haircuts. We're going to a corporate meeting here in a little bit. We don't have. Okay. We don't have time to go to barbers okay. and stuff. Okay, so you want me to give you a corporate meeting haircut? Correct. Okay, well, you just come right on up in here, and I will just give you a jagged haircut. No, it's going to be a nice haircut, or you're not going to have a job anymore. Oh, yeah? You think so? I think, I, I know so. I'm from the corporate office. I signed Okay, well, I, I understand you're from the corporate office, but I don't cut hair. Okay, well, I think it's pretty simple. You know, we're men. It's not like we have complicated haircuts. Just a part on the I side. don't even cut my husband's hair because I don't line him up correctly. Okay, I think you can do it if you just put your mind to it. Yeah, like don't you can do it. Put your mind to it. I mean, I could give it a shot. Okay, all right. Just you know, don't be saying you're going to give us a jagged haircut. Well, I mean, if it comes out jagged, don't be mad at me because I mean, I am a manager of Subway, not a manager of a barber shop. Okay, well, it's a pretty simple thing to do. You know, it's just a man's haircut. How complicated mm-hmm. could it be? Yeah, I understand that. Can I talk to Ariel? Yeah, hang on. Ariel! Are you busy? Ma'am? Hang on one second. All right. Jody, do y'all got lines out there? Huh? Hang on, I got some lines. All right. See, lines, like they come with haircuts. 
That wasn't funny. Hang on a minute. This guy wants to talk to Ariel. Is this a personal phone call? Oh, no, I'm from the corporate office. This is business related. Can I get your number so she can call you back? Uh, no, no, just put her on. It's fine. I'm from the corporate office. I order her to pick up. You order her to pick up because you're from the corporate office? Correct. Okay, but she's busy. She has a line. Well, it doesn't matter. There's two people. Tell the other person to deal with it. No, I'm not. Who is this? This, this is Roy from the corporate office. I understand this might be Roy from the corporate office, but no, I'm not going to tell someone else to just jump into her line. She's busy with customers. They come first. No, the corporate office comes first. You know how much money... Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but you... corporate office will tell you that customers come first. Okay, I make a lot more money than any of you, like all of you put together, and I sign your I paychecks. I understand. No. I don't... I mean, honestly, I don't care, but customers come first. You put Ariel, Ariel on the phone right now. You... No, right now. I'm not, because she's with a customer. I command you. Why aren't you with a customer? You don't command me to do nothing, sir. Why don't you step? Why don't you like take care of her line and put her on the phone? You're because not, I don't run a store side register. You're not doing anything. Yeah, actually, I am. Well, I give you permission to run her register while she gets on like, the phone. Look, sir, I don't know who you are or where you're calling from, but seriously, do you need to talk to Ariel that bad? Well, I was just gonna see if like she thought she could do an easy, simple haircut, since you seem to think you like, can't do look, it. Look, I, I understand you want your haircut. You're Roy from the corporate office, but look, I'm trying to do something with my audits right now, mm -hmm. so I don't have time to, like, talk about a haircut, and I don't, you're not going to command me to do anything. Okay, well, I'm going to so command what? you to give They're me a really haircut. They're really busy. When I get in there, I want a haircut. Four of okay, us. Okay, well, when you get in here, you might get more than a haircut. Four of us do. Like, four men getting haircuts <laughs> before our Dude, meeting. you're really cracking me up here. <laughs> what do you want? I'm not trying to crack you up. We have a, we have a meeting. You're where you are. I don't take you serious. Like every every great clips we've called, it's like the whole time's like an hour. So we're gonna need this done within an hour, like all oh four of us. Oh my god! So we'll see you soon. Hey, could you be quiet just for a minute, please, so I can concentrate? Hey, why, why don't you shut the fuck up, lady? Hey, you don't talk to me like that. I don't know who the fuck you are, but you don't talk to me like that, okay? Hey, I I'm from the corporate office. I can do whatever I want. I don't care. I've... Ah, that was a roller coaster of a phone call, wasn't it? Thank you for calling Circle K. This is Tammy. How can I help you? Hey, Tammy. It's Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Okay. How you doing, Roy? Pretty good. Hey, I'm just going to be coming in there in about 15 minutes or so. Okay. And uh, I need to put my, uh, my suit jacket in the hot dog warmer. Like, just kind of hang it up above the hot dogs. Cause above it, the hot dog warmer? Yeah, because it hasn't been ironed. My stupid wife didn't iron it before I left this morning. And I've got an important oh. meeting. Okay. So I just wanted to let you know, before, you know, so you weren't surprised. I just need to come in and put my suit jacket inside the hot dog warmer. Okay. Like you've got one that's all, uh, you know, like enclosed or whatever, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Is there like a thing I can hang it from without getting I hot dog juice? I am not hundred percent positive. Because I don't want hot dogs like grazing my, my jacket. Right. Right. Uh. We, well, we had the. Tortella, or the tornado warmer, too. Would that work for a suit jacket? I have no idea. I've never had somebody... <laughs> I've never had somebody do this before. Yep, yep. You know, when, when you're in a hurry, you got, you got to... I, I think completely your, understand, but think, I'm sure we can figure something out when you get here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, that's great. Um, is there just... Is it just you in the store, or is there other, another employee... Yes, I have another employee in the store with me right now. Okay, great. I was kind of needing a haircut. Okay. Because I've got a corporate meeting to, to be at in like less than an hour. Okay. Like how quick could you cut? Like my my hair is not too crazy. It's just like normal man's haircut with a part. You realize you're calling Circle K, right? Yeah, I'm with the corporate office with Circle K. And you said your name is Roy? Correct. Roy what? Roy Gerbel. Jabelle? Yep. Okay. Um, I'm just asking. You know, I'm just like, you know, I don't have to get my hair cut. I'm just saying if you know how to cut hair, it'd be really convenient if I could just, you know, just go in the back room and sit down and have a quick, just a quick trim. Well, I don't, I w I don't have any, like, um, 
supplies to be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, you got to have like just a pair of scissors up there, right? Uh, possibly, but I don't know how to cut hair. Yeah, but you know, it's just a trim. It's not like a full cut. Just okay. a little jagged here and there. Okay, that's sure. All right, suit jacket and the hot dog warmer, and I'll get a quick haircut and I'll be on my way. Oh, okay, perfect. All right. Then what was All your, right, what thank was, you. What was your name again? Tammy. Tammy, okay, thanks. Thanks so much, Tammy, in advance. I'll, I'll see you in just a little bit. All right, Roy. All right, bye. Uh, bye bye. I bet she would have washed my car, too. I should have brought that up. I should have just kept bringing things up until she finally refused. Circle train, this is Amanda. May I help you? Hey, Amanda. It's Roy from the corporate office. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to be uh, stopping by there in just a little bit. I've got an important corporate meeting to go to there in town. Okay. And uh, I just need you to reach... I, I just need you to read over my speech that I'm giving to the shareholders. Okay. Do you need to speak with a manager? Oh, no. Just you. I, I just need, like, the, the average Joe's opinion... And like, if you could correct my spelling and stuff, and okay, maybe, maybe just second. work on the grammar a little bit. Uh, just give me one where, second. where are you going? What are you doing? I don't need the manager. This is Andrew. How may I help you? Hey, Andrew. I was talking to Amanda. I was going to have her uh, proofread my my speech to the shareholders. Okay. Um, I don't know why she we, transferred uh, me. We uh, are kind of busy right now, so. Well, well, not too busy for me because I'm from the corporate office. This is Roy. I'm sure they told you I'd be in town. Okay. So, like, I'm just going to come in and have you guys, uh, just, just not you, just, I, I need a girl because girls know how to spell and do grammar better. Uh-huh. So I just need her to read over my speech. That's all. Okay. Yeah, she's busy with customers right now. I know, but I'll just be coming in and just she'll just look it over real quick and, and correct any grammar. No, no, you won't. Oh, no, you can't tell me not to come into my own store. I'm, I'm from the corporate office. This isn't your store. Oh, yes, it is. I'm from the corporate office. I own all the stores. Oh, you do, huh? Yep, and I sign all the paychecks. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Sure. Yep. Yeah. I don't know who you think you are telling me what what I can do. You don't know who the fuck I am, so well, who the fuck don't call you? my store again. Hey, hey, don't curse at the corporate office, motherfucker. Well, you got the right motherfucker. I got the right motherfucker? Okay. That makes sense. Thank you for calling Circle K. I'm Treat speaking. How may I help you? Hi there. It's, it's Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Ma'am? Yes, sir. Hello. Uh, I just need to let you know I'm going to be stopping by in about 10 minutes. Uh, I'm on my way to a corporate okay. meeting for Circle K that's there in town. Ma'am? Okay. And I'm going to need you to just, it's, it's just going to take a minute. I need you to polish my shoes with hot dog water. <laughs> what was that? What was that noise? Ma'am? I'm sorry, sir. Um, I don't think polishing shoes with hot dog water is in my job description. Yeah, but I can't do it because I'm on my way to a corporate meeting. I don't need my hands smelling like hot dogs. I just, like, if you could just take a, like, a, a rag and wipe it over the hot dog rollers. And I just okay. polish up my shoes. Um, I'm sorry. That would... That would be something I cannot help you with. No, I apologize. I'm ordering you to help me with it. Can I be uh, of any assistance with anything else? I'm from the corporate <laughs> office, and I order you to do this for me. It, it'll just take a minute. Um, no, sir. No, sir. I will not polish your shoes with um, hot dog water. I apologize. Well, you don't have a choice. I, I sign your paychecks. Okay, that's fine. Well, um, I guess I will be uh, fired today then because I am not uh, polishing anybody's shoes with hot dog water, sir. But if you will excuse me, I have customers that need my immediate attention. Why can't you so do this? So I will speak to you on a later note. Thank you. Why, have a good day. Why not? Like, what's the pro <laughs> I think that would work really well. You know, like the instead of shoe polish, it would make your shoes all shiny. That'd be a good substitute. That's, that's like a life hack for the corporate office people. 
when they're doing meetings, out of town meetings. Circle K, this is Brandon speaking. How may I help you? Hey there, it's Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be um, just stopping in, you know, over there by your store here in just a minute. Um, I've okay. got I've got an important corporate meeting to go to here in town, and I'm just going to need need you to watch my dogs for a couple hours. Uh, we're not supposed to have the animals in the store. Yeah, but I'm from the corporate office, so it's okay. Like I'll, I'll just we'll just tie them up inside. Like they're by the register. Uh, and you no, have to... I think that I need to be called by my manager. Oh before no, I... I can be okay with that. No, I, I'm above your manager. I'm from the corporate office. Well, then please have her call me. Oh no, I don't feel like it. I'm just saying I'm going to come in there and just, I just need you to watch my dogs. D- yeah, just... no, I've been told that you know nobody from the corporate is going to be calling us directly like this anyway. But so for, for, a, for a, I don't. It's a corporate. You don't need to prank, like be calling for pranks or nothing, man. We're trying to work it, here. It, I got it's. My it's, coworker leaving today, and I got to get some stuff done, man. It's a special it circumstances, you know. Thank you for calling Circle K. Hi, uh, this is Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Yes, sir. And I'm calling to let you know I'm going to be stopping by there in a few minutes. Uh, I've got a an important corporate meeting to go to here in town. Okay. And I'm just going to need you to watch my dogs for a couple hours. Watch your dogs? Yeah, watch the dogs. Not wash them. <laughs> okay. Yep. I, I've got I've got leashes and everything. We can just tie them up inside, like by the counter. Um. Uh, <laughs> are we allowed? I don't know if we're allowed to have dogs in the store. Are we? Oh, uh, not normally, but you know, I'm from the corporate office. So I. I would have to see proof of that when you get here. You'll have to what? I would have to see proof of that when you get here. See, see pictures? Huh? Uh, your phone is awful. I can barely hear you. What did you say? You I, I said I would have to see proof of that when you get here. I might have to ask my manager if that's okay. Oh, yeah. I'll show you my corporate ID. I'll, I'll be in a suit, so you know. I'm, I'm driving oh, okay. a, a Lexus and right, everything. Cool. But this is a weird, weird question. I've never, been, I never expected to be asked that. But okay, I'll oh, see yeah. you when you get here. It's just a, an important corporate meeting. I just need you to watch both of my dogs. The kennel was closed today. So I don't have anywhere else to take them. Oh, okay. Well, I'll see you when you get here. And they're, they're two big dogs, like really big ones, like mean ones. Then you have a nice day. Take it easy. W- what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> why, would you, why would I put two mean dogs in my store? Well, just tell everyone to stay away from them and, and put a bowl of water down. Can you, can you have like a bowl of water ready when I get there? You have a nice day, hon. Take it easy. Oh, okay, fine. Whatever. Circle K. Hey there, it's Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, um, do, you, do you guys have a shovel there? Um, there was one in the shed, but I ain't seen it in there lately. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to be coming by I'm there. I'm not sure. I mean, you could look. Oh, no, no. I, I don't really want to. I mean, to. I have to see who you are and stuff, but... Yeah, well, no, I just need you to dig a hole. Like, I'm going to be coming in about an hour. I need you to start digging a hole. For what? Well, don't worry about it. It's corporate business. But, you know, just ah! just back there by the dumpster or whatever, just wherever is available, I just need you to dig a hole. I'm here by myself, sir. Well, just in between customers. That doesn't work that way. Uh, I think it does because I'm from the corporate office, and I order you to dig a hole. I need it about three feet deep and maybe three feet wide. Will you call back and tell the boss because I got a whole line full of people. I know, we'll just tell them to wait. I want you to go dig a hole. All right. You have a good day. No, ma'am. Okay. What did what, what'd you say to that person? It, their, their first credit card was declined. Oh, uh, here, I'll talk it to them. It says kangaroo on here is where you're calling from. Yeah, the, you, you know, we bought the kangaroo, uh, the, the stores. But sir, I can't go dig no hole. I got a whole line full of people. This is one of the busiest stores around here. Oh, that's what they all say. No, it's okay. Like, just put a sign on the door that says, back in one hour, digging a hole. Doesn't work that way. Sorry, you're not allowed to do that. Well, no, you are allowed because I'm ordering you to. Like, I, I'm well, giving you... Well, you call Marquetta, and Marquetta can tell me to I, do, dig the hole I'm then. giving you permission. Like, I order you to dig a hole. Sorry.
I want she was considering it. I don't know what a hole has to do with my important corporate meeting, but you know, it's it's corporate stuff. Don't worry about it. That's just how it is. You wouldn't understand because you're just an employee. I finished with Reggie's list, by the way, and I'm just calling random Circle K's and Kangaroo Expresses sort of in the same area. I don't know why she was confused about it saying Kangaroo Express. Same thing, right? Okay. Hello, it's Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to be coming in there in a little bit. Do you have a pair of fingernail clippers on hand? Um, let me take a look. Okay. I'm pretty sure we do. All right. Um, yeah, we got, we got some. Okay, great. I'm going to be coming in there maybe uh, 10 or 15 minutes. I just need you to clip my fingernails. Okay. Um, I'm just, how long do you think that'll take? They're not too bad. I just need them clipped. I'm going to an important corporate meeting here in town. Uh huh. So I just need you to clip my fingernails. Okay. How long will that take? It take too long. What's that? It, it depends on because it's only me here and I got a few customers. Oh, okay. Well, I'll probably push the customers out of the way and jump to the front of the line because I'm more important. You know, I'm like a corporate person. So I'm going to be wearing a suit and stuff. Oh, well, um. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, Marble Gold, too. Um. Can you tell that guy to be quiet? Uh. That guy is getting his order. Glad to see your ID. All right. It's just, you know, usually I'm not used to normal, you know, just lowly people cutting ahead of me like this. And 596? So. Well, when I'm the only person here and there's customers, they. You might be the the head of whatever. Circle um, K. I don't want to be mean or anything. I sign your paychecks. My customers are, I mean, you know. What? Go ahead and say it. My customers are first. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I, I like, but you don't cut their fingernails, but you have to cut my fingernails. So I'm just, I'm going to be there. Well, actually, to tell you the truth, I, and you can turn this over to Circle K Corporate if you want to, if you're corporate or whatever. <laughs> it's not my job to clip somebody else's nails. I don't care if you're corporate or what have you. But I sign your paycheck, so like you know, I, I'm just I'm letting you know I'm going to be there pretty soon, and you got to clip mm-hmm. my fingernails. How much? Twenty on seven. Twenty on seven. Ah, uh-huh. that's again. Okay. So, uh, well, I'll see you when you get here. Okay, and, and you're going to clip him, right? It'll just take a minute. And what else, sir? May I see your ID? Jeez, you're just IDing everyone today. Well, that's my job. Well, yeah, but, you know, he didn't look that old. I'm watching him on the security camera. I mean, he doesn't look that young. Are you looking at the right person? This child is younger than 30. Yeah, but, you know... 28, 37. And the, have, the thing is, if they don't look 30, we card. Yeah, but I have trained sensei eyes. I can, I guess you just can't pick it out as well as I can because I'm from the corporate do office. You, do you know how old I am? Um, well, no, I'm not going to go down that rabbit hey, hole. It, it, I don't, since, since you're looking, look at me and tell me how old you think I am. Oh, no, no. I, I've learned not to do that with women. I, like, I've been All right, then. slapped. Enough. I'll see you when you get here. All right. I'll see you soon. All right, bye. Bye. He said, he says he is corporate. He wants me to clip his nails because he is fixing to go to an important meeting. That's a grown ass man. Yeah, he needs to know how to clip his own bag of mail. As many places as many places there is around here to clip nails, he needs to go there. It's not my job. That's what I'm saying. Be charging it to if you are from corporate, charge it to the company. This is the best. Got a sale place. Think he could do it? I'm just quitting his name. No 
Oh, I, I gotta call my boss lady on this one. Mm. Come on, mm. Oh, I thought she was going to dial. Maybe she'll pick back up. Ah, I wanted her to pick up and dial. That was pretty great, though. I can't believe she sat there and ranted about me. I think she now distrusts everyone in a suit, like more than she did before. Man, what else could I make them do for me as a corporate person on the way to my meeting? Like maybe have them pick my teeth with a toothpick because I just ate? Thank you for calling Circle K. This is Christina. Hey, Christina. It's it's Roy from what? the corporate office with Circle K. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm in town right now. I'm on my way to a, an important corporate meeting. And I, okay. I, I'm going to be stopping by in a few minutes. Okay. Um, I just need you to... I'm, I'm going to come in there. I just need you to compliment me and stuff. Like, okay. Tell, tell me how, how, how nice I look and how conf, how confident I am. And stuff like that. Uh-huh. Is that going to be a problem? I don't think so. Okay. What do you I, look like? What's that? What do you look like? Oh, I, I'll, I'll be the one wearing a suit, like a very expensive suit, and I have a haircut, and uh, I'll be driving the uh, the Audi, the black Audi. Okay. okay. I'm just... Is there I, any I reason need, why I have to give you all these compliments? Well, it's just that I'm going to a meeting... A, you know, a corporate meeting, and I need someone to build up my self-esteem so I can be more assertive at the meeting. Okay. <coughs> okay, thank you. Okay. And I'll see you when you get here. Okay, try not to cough all over me when I get there. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. I really appreciate this. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. That was easy enough. I should do this for real. I should start showing up at places and have them compliment me. Be like, hey, I'm, I'm from the corporate office. I'm here for my compliments. Start showering me with compliments, please. Circle K, fifth one. Hi there. It's Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm going to be coming, by, coming in there in just a few minutes. Okay. Um, d- do you know how to work a smartphone? I do. Okay. Do you have an iPhone or an Android? Or do you know how to work both? I know how to work them. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Uh, I just need 41? to. I, I need you to show me how to use the recording app on my phone because I'm going to an important corporate meeting. And, oh, okay. And like, like I just, I, I wanna, um, I wanna turn on the recording app and record the meeting and just set it right down there on the table so everyone sees it, so they don't try any shit this time. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. So you you know how to you know how to use the recording app on a cell phone. I do not. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I know how to I, look. I've got like, I've got a, just a little phone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't have anything big. Oh uh, well, you know it's just a standard smartphone. It's like one of those iPhone things. Oh, I'm not exactly sure how to do the recording thing though. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll come in. Maybe you can figure it out. I, I'm no good with this technology stuff. Okay, that's fine. Okay, great. Thank you so much. I'll be there soon. All right. Bye bye. Goodbye. There we go. She's a team player. Should have told her I'm going to need a haircut while she figures it out. Circle K, how may I help you? Hi, uh, it's Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Okay. And I, uh, I'm, I'm going to be uh, coming by there in just a few minutes. I'm on my way to an important corporate meeting for Circle K. Yes, sir. And, and I've got my son with me. He's, uh, he's five years old. I'm just going to leave him there for a couple hours. Okay. Like, you're just going to have to take care of him. <laughs> okay. Like, just, just feed him and, and let him watch TV or whatever. Let him play on your phone. <laughs> okay. All right. It'll just be a couple hours just while I'm at the meeting. Okay. I, I don't have a babysitter. I'm not from around here. Okay, Roy. All right. Great. Also, do you know how to give haircuts? Yeah. Um, do you think I can get a haircut real quick from you before I leave? Uh, probably so. I probably can work it into my schedule. Okay, that'd be great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, I'll, I'll be there very soon. Okay, thank you, Roy. Uh-huh, goodbye. Bye. Well, damn it, it's no fun when they don't argue with me. Circle K Foley. Hi, it's uh, Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Hi. Hi, I- I'm just calling to let you know I'm going to be stopping by there in a few minutes. I'm on my way to an important corporate meeting here in town. Okay. And, and uh, I've got my five-year-old son. I'm just going to need you to uh, babysit him for uh, maybe a couple hours. 
Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, just as long as the meeting lasts. Babysit him for a couple hours. Yes. Like, he'll, he'll just hang out there in the store. He shouldn't be too much trouble. I don't think so. Why not? No, I, I'm from the corporate office with Circle K. I'm ordering you to. I, I need a babysitter. I don't think so. Why, why are you saying that? Because I'm not going to babysit. Well, no, I'm, I'm uh, like, you know, I, I sign your page. Like, you get paid to do what we say to do, so. That's we, okay. I'm still not going to do it. We need you to watch this kid. <laughs> it's just for a couple hours, unless, you know, we go out for drinks after. Oh, yeah? Yep. Which will probably happen, right? Well, I don't know. I, I just, it depends on how the meeting how goes. It. Hello? Hello, Circle K? Hello, it's Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm calling. Um, I'm going to be coming by your store in just a little bit here. I'm on my uh -huh. way to an important corporate meeting. You having a corporate meeting with who? Uh, well, you know, with Circle K people, investors and all that stuff. Um, okay. But I'm going to be bringing my son by, and I'm going to need you to watch him for a couple hours while I go to the meeting. I'm not gonna be able to do that. Oh no! I you have to like uh, he's 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 just five years old. He's pretty easy to watch. Just, well, just, I have to call my manager before I can do that. No, no, I, I I'm above your manager. I'm I'm from the corporate office with Circle K. So I, I, I give you permission to watch my five-year-old son. I can't. The children can't be behind the counter no way in the store. We'll make him stay out on the floor. Like just he'll he'll just run around wild. He'll he'll just run around the store. I, I prefer. I call my manager for that before I do that. Just don't let anyone I, take him. Huh? I said just don't let anyone kidnap him and it'll be fine. Exactly. I can't. I can't be be responsible for somebody else's child in this store. Yeah, he'll be fine though. He'll just he'll just no, hang he out. He will not be fine walking around this store and I've got customers coming in and out of this store. He'll he'll just eat the candy. Hold on, and let me let you talk to the assistant manager. He'll eat candy. Hello. Hello, uh this is Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Uh huh. I was just trying to let her know that I'm gonna bring my son by. I'm on my way to an important meeting and uh you guys are gonna have to watch my son. He's five years old. Um, no sir. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not asking. I'm, I'm letting you know that's what I'm doing. You can do whatever you like, but we're not watching your son. No, you have to. He's five years old. He, he can't take care of himself. I, I'm okay, going, you have a blessed day. I'm going to a corporate meeting. I should tell them they have to give him a bath and everything. Circle Case, this is Precious. How can I help you? Can you break a 20 Hi, Precious. It's Roy from the corporate office with Circle K. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm calling to let you know that I'm going to be stopping by in just a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm on my way to a corporate meeting for Circle K. Okay. And uh, I'm going to be bringing my son by. He's five years old, and, and you guys need to watch him for a couple hours. Um, we can't do that, honey. Oh, no, no. I definitely need you to. I'm from the corporate office with Circle K. It's, it's for a circle Okay, but we can't babysit a five-year-old. Yeah, but I'm going to a corporate meeting, and I don't have a babysitter. I can't take him to the meeting. Yes, sir, but we can't do that. Why not? Like, don't you know how to take care of a kid? It's easy. No, I do that. However, I, if I'm not able to bring my child to work, I can't watch another person's child for them. No, th this like, I'm from the corporate office, so I, I'm ordering you to watch my kid while I go to my corporate meeting. Yes, sir. However, we can't watch a five-year-old while we do our job. Well, how many people are there? There's me and, and my coworker. However, I'm leaving in a couple hours, and she'll be here by herself. Okay. Well, like I, I'm, I'll be back in a couple hours. I'm going to be there in just a little bit. It won't take me that long. Sir, we can't the, do that. The meeting probably if won't you, even if last. If you have an issue with it, you can call my store manager, Polly. Okay. Well, you could just let him run around the store. Just don't let him go outside. Yes, sir, I can't let him do that because he's got a cold. If something is to fall on him while he's here, we're liable, and I can't, I yeah, can't you, allow that. You better sir. not let anything fall on him while he's there. Okay, well, if I'm taking care of customers and your son's running around my store, no, sir, I, I can't allow that. Just put him in the freezer or something. No, sir, I'm not going to do that either. Just put him that behind the counter. But no, it's not. Like ugh. Putting a child in a freezer for a couple hours? Yes, sir, that is child abuse. Just put him behind the counter then, like block off the counter so he can't leave. He'll scream a lot, but he'll, he'll be fine. He'll be safe. 
Let's put them behind the counter. Sir, I can't do that. Well, I'm you, not going to argue about it. I've already told you no. Yeah, but you have to do what I say. I'm from the corporate office. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Because you have to do what I say. I'm from corporate. Okay. I'm going to flash my corporate I'm, God card. It's also against company policy to watch a child while on, on the clock. Yeah, but I, I trump corporate policy because I'm from the corporate office. Okay, I, I, I can, still have I to can, follow company policy. I can rewrite the policies to my whim. So you're the owner of Circle K? Yeah, well, I'm from the corporate office. I can bend reality however I want inside the stores. It. What? If you're not the owner, then you can. If you, would you like to talk to my coworker and get her input on this? Yeah, yeah. The owner says I can do whatever I want. Okay. It's a corporate meeting. Yes, can I help you? Oh, I'm okay. just letting you know I'm going to be dropping my five-year-old off. You guys need to watch him. I'm from the corporate office with Circle K. Well, call corporate to watch him. Well, no. The look. Don't be an idiot. I, I'm. I'm just in town. I'm business. I'm going oh, to. Oh well. Well, then you need to get corporate out here to watch him because we're not going to do it. No, you and have to. And this you have a nice day. I order you to watch my kid. Well, I don't care if you order me or give me. I promise that you're going to come back and pick up the kid. But uh, have a nice day. It's just going to be two hours. Ah, you know it's child abuse not watching my kid because I'm just going to leave him in the car. So basically, they're responsible for me leaving my kid in the car while I go to my meeting. If he figures out how to use the locks and gets away, it's all their fault. Hey, Brad, it's that wasted guy. Woo! Hey. Oh. Wasted memory. I'm still waiting on the phone losers kind of meet up date thing, or whatever you promised. Yay! So it's going to be in Atlanta. You should do you it, gotta, you gotta hobo. Take a flight to Atlanta. Ah. Or maybe... Oh, I dropped my wrench. Oh, I hate when that happens. Maybe Nevada. I might seriously try to go down to Nevada. That's happening next month. I don't know. I don't know if it'll happen. I don't know if I'll be able to make it by then, but maybe. It's just ten hours away. Hey, Brad. Hey, Hang out with Brad Riley. Mysterious. So, I had a question for you. All right. Um... You know, you've lived all over the country. Ohio, I think Indiana, uh, yep. Texas. South Carolina. Um, and, of course, Oregon. Florida. And, uh, you know, at least in spirit, you live in New Mexico. So uh, my question is, like, why did you move so much? Because I also have moved across I wanted the country to. quite a bit. And I know at least uh, three other people from Phone Losers, prominent people, that I know have moved quite a bit. It's kind of a recurring theme in phone losers, I noticed. And I, I was just wondering, what's the reason why you moved around the country? You don't have to be too specific, well, obviously. Who are these other people? But, like, why Why did you move? Was it just, like, for jobs or family? Or, you know, what else? What can you tell us, Brad? It'd be interesting. Thanks. I was just moving because I wanted to move. No reason, really. I just wanted to travel and experience other places. I'd get bored with one place and I'd just pack up and leave. That's all. There was no reason for it. I wasn't going to school. I was just taking shit jobs wherever I ended up. And I'm hoping to do that again soon, maybe. At least immediately after my probation is over. Because right now I'm kind of stuck in Oregon because of this thing. But once that's done, I'm, I'm selling everything. I'm getting a van or a crappy old RV. Setting up a recording studio in the back. And I'm out of here. Fuck Oregon. Hey Brad. We played GTA once on PC. Wow. Um, I don't really want to talk to you, though. I want to talk to the fans. Oh, okay. Um, is there anybody else like me who, like, you've been listening for a really long time, but you've never actually called in or anything, or, like, you know, did anything with the show? I was just wondering. All right, Brad. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thought you weren't talking to me. Why'd you say my name? And it's not like you're going to get answers. If they're the type of people not to call into shows and not to interact or anything... They're not going to answer. Durr. Hey, Brad. It's uh, Brian's guy here. What? John the Graham on the book. What? Um, yeah, you're fucking awesome, What the fuck dude. are you talking on? Listen every day. You're, uh... Jesus. <laughs> All right. You have fun doing whatever you're doing there. Hey, Brad. How's it going? Hey, it's going Hey, uh, I'm your neighbor here, and um, I just oh, wanted shit. to let you know, uh, my cousin Ricky is, he's here from uh, Chattanooga, and uh, basically we um, we forced some, uh, some really dangerous and toxic chemicals down uh, the water, water line to our house. Mm -hmm. we, were, we were trying to 
alter or dissolve the, uh, the city's meter so, um, you know, we could get free water and stuff. Wow, that's a great but, um, idea. It, it kind of backfired and, and contaminated the water supply. Yeah, but free water, so you know. So you, um, you know, might want to hold off on any water consumption in your okay. house. Okay, um, I'll do that. You know, my girlfriend, Crystal, you know, she's got a Brita pitcher, water filter pitcher. She okay, cannot, bye. She by. I played 50 seconds of your two and a half minute voicemail. I hope you're happy. Hi, Brad. This is Colin from New Orleans in my uh, Western Electric car phone. Just had to turn down the air conditioner because it's really hot. And also, you can't hear. Uh, I appreciate you know, it. If the air conditioner is up too loud, so it's pretty hot right now. Anyway, just wanted to say that I'm super stoked that King Cover is just one month away. Oh, yeah. Um, it's going to be a good one. I hope it's like the one two years ago. It was really cool. Like the one where you had like show after show of Ding Timber, like you thought it was the last one, but then there were still more Ding Timber shows to do. Yep. I really liked that. That was really hilarious. It's some of the best. Those calls. were good times. I think of all of 2016. Back were before those, the raid. Those Ding Timber calls, especially that very last one. I don't remember what it's called. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. I don't like this. I've been hearing in the rumor mill that you want to just like shut down Ding Timber because of liability. Oh, yeah. that's lame, man. It's not that I want oh, to. Hilarious. You want me to get anyway, in trouble? No, you do you. It's be funny either way. So, uh, yeah. Bye. I'll do my best. Cactus, cactus, cactus. I think it's all up to Carlito. Carlito kind of held Dean Timber together last year. Hey, Brad. What happened to the Calls of Mass Confusion YouTube channel? I wasn't up to date, so now I there's don't know. What's, stuff, what's wrong with it? I might not what's ever be able to see. I hope it comes back. Well, maybe you should have you know, been watching as soon as every video came out. It's what you get for being lazy. Hey, Brad. It's Mad Weasel. What's up? Hey. hey. I sang an email the other day about the last blockbuster. Well, I don't know if it's the last one, but it's got to be It's got to be close to it. No, it's in Alaska. It was on Snapchat. I've seen it. So. Well, I keep reading everywhere because people are posting it everywhere that the last Alaska blockbuster is closing down. So the very last blockbuster in the entire country is in Bend, Oregon, which is just two or three hours from me. Screenshot of that, email it to you. But uh, you, should, you should call and congratulate him. For yeah, I should. Surviving, for being the longest yep. living blockbuster. <laughs> Tell them their days are numbered. Solid red box outside. Something like that. Yep, I should do that. All right, keep up the good I'll work. Get right on that. I uh... wonder how long they're going to last. Hey, Brad. Um, Probably not very Really long. disappointed right now. I set aside $100, 100 USD to donate to you, and I went to the Phone Losers Discord today, and everyone was just so rude and nasty oh, to me. Oh, no. I'm going to take my business elsewhere. Good. I'm going to go listen to Madhouse. Yeah, it's give it to on him. The air now. It, it, they have a show yesterday. That's what I would really do. really good. And yeah, you don't better. need your, your whiny little tantrums around here. Go take them over to Madhouse. Hey, bro. Um, I just found out that there's only one blockbuster store left because what? Two in Alaska you don't say. Weekend, so That's crazy. You give them a call before okay, I'll call him right now. Hey, Brad, it's uh, T Bone. Hope you're uh, well. Uh, wanted to That's let you know to I'm me. calling you from my uh, TI 83 calculator. Whoa. Uh, it's totally possible. Uh, don't look it up. Okay. Uh, Sounds good. Do you know who Jason Siegel is? I don't know who started this, but. Thank you very much for turning me on to it, <laughs> or whoever your listener was that called in about it. Yeah, it's, I forget who that uh, was. Unusually awesome. So, yep. I'm uh, like uh, 10 episodes behind on that podcast, the podcast called Do You Know Who Jason Siegel Is, which everybody should give a try, listen to an episode or two, see if you like it. It's weird. Yeah, that's uh, all I have. Love you. Okay, bye. Hang up your calculator. Hey, Brad. It's SP Link. Hey, it SP Link. 6.40 p.m., 82 degrees in beautiful Roy, Maryland. Okay. I wanted to call and apologize for my really, really bad voicemail the last time I left. I was on my car hands-free device thingy. And I don't even remember it. Sucks, so I'm not going to use it anymore. Uh, and I forgot the reason why I wanted to call in the first place. Sounds good today. Which was, I wanted to say that it's awesome Sounds that like you're on a calculator. a Patreon RSS feed. And you can load that into your favorite podcast player and get your shows directly to you. Yep. I think it's really cool, and I've never heard you mention that before. It's like magic. That's it. 
Talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, I love the Patreon RSS feeds. Like for the other Patreons that I support, it works really well with pretty much every podcast app that I've tried it on. Unlike the stupid feed thing over on phonelosers.org, which is a pain in the ass to make it work. This one works great. And that's yet another reason to support the Patreon. Patreon.com slash phone losers. You get a secret feed with all of the snowplow shows on it. All 117 existing shows. You'd have to be crazy not to take advantage of that. Man, speaking of hobo sods, I've not done one this week. But I did three normal size shows, so that makes up for it. Hopefully I'll get a hobo sod done tomorrow or Sunday. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Hope you enjoyed our corporate hijinks today. And if you ever need free babysitting, this is an awesome trick for you, by the way. Just call up a random business, you know, like a Subway or a McDonald's or whatever, and say, hey, this is the corporate office. I'm on my way to an important corporate meeting, and I'm going to bring my kid by. You're going to have to babysit him. It's a foolproof way to get free babysitting. What could go wrong?